Hey okay, Sinan, so in this group we're going to be going over how to find uh, one-sided limits um, graphically um, and then we'll, we'll be combining our one-sided results to find out what the actual double-sided combined limit is. So we have the graph provided for us um, on the right here. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to find these one-sided limits and then find out what the double-sided limit is as a consequence of the results we have on these two sides here, okay? So let's take a look at the graph. Um, and then see if we can find the limit. So let's start with the A part. And uh, this is G of X, Y equals G of X right here. So the question says, <clears throat> use a graph to find the following. So in this example, we want to find the limit as of X, the limit of G of X as X approaches negative 4 from the left side. So that minus there means you're approaching negative uh, 4 from the left side, all right? So what is that going to be equal to? So we'll look at the graph. First thing we'll look at is the x value that's approaching, which is uh, negative four. And what's the direction that we're approaching by? We're approaching from the left, okay? So if we're approaching from the left. On the left side of this function, let me partition the space for you to see. On the left side of this function, what graph are we on? Are we on the graph with a positive slope or a negative slope, we're definitely on this graph right here. So we're going to be on this graph when we're approaching from the left, and this graph when we're approaching from the right. So this is negative 4. There's a limit of the value we're approaching right here. This is negative 4. So as the x value approaches negative 4 on the x-axis, what is the y value approaching? Whatever the y value is approaching, that is what g of x is approaching. So as x is getting closer and closer to the x, what y value are you approaching? Since we're on this graph and this graph is going up, you notice that as the x is going to the left, what is happening with the y? The y value is increasing. Now what is it approaching? As it's going as we're going in this direction, as x is going to the from the left to the right, x is going up and is approaching the value two. Alright? So the left-handed limit as x approaches negative four from the left is 2 because you're going up on this graph right here. Alright? Okay, now let's take a look at um, the right-handed limit. When we're approaching um, negative 4 from the right side, because of this plus, this plus right here basically means you're coming from the right. If we're approaching negative 4 from the right side, <clears throat> what graph are we going to be on? This is the right side, right? We're approaching negative 4 from the right direction. So we're going to be on this graph right here. Okay? So as we are approaching this x value right here, what is happening with this graph? You know the graph is going in what direction up and down? As you're going in this direction, it's like you're driving a car, you know what's happening? The graph is going up. So what value is it going up to as it gets closer and closer to the negative 4, the limiting value of negative 4? As it gets, as it goes to the left, you're going up and up to this point right here. As you're going vertically and horizontally towards negative 4, vertically you're approaching this value right here, which is uh, 8. Alright, so as you're going here, the x value approaching is negative 4, and the value that the function is approaching is 8. Alright, so what is the li limit as x approaches negative 4? This is a double sided limit. Now, if both of them were the same answer, then that would be the, what the limit is. But since they are approaching different values, the limit does not exist. Okay, because the left hand limit and the right hand limit are different. They must be the same in order for the limits to exist. Alright, now let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at zero this time. So in this in this case, for D, E, and F, the break happens at zero. Okay, so we're placing our partition at zero. Now, <coughs> if you notice this graph is continuous past zero. There isn't any discontinuity there, so that uh, looks good. So now let's do the right hand first. So we are approaching zero from the right side. So if on this function we are approaching zero from the right, basically we're going in this direction. Okay? So if we're going in this direction, what's happening on the graph? Let's say you're driving a car and you're going in this direction, you're going to be going up, right? As you go up and up and up, as you approach zero, what y value are you approaching? You're approaching negative 4. So you're going up, as you're going to this direction, you're going up in that direction, and the value at 0 is 4. Alright? So your right-handed limit is 4. 
Now, what happens if you're going from the left side? If you're going from the left side, um, you're approaching zero from this direction, right? Now, if you have a car, you're driving, what's going to be happening if you're on this line? If you're going in this direction because you're approaching zero from the left side, notice that you're going and going down, right? You're slipping down, you're going downwards, which means that your y value is decreasing because you have a downward slope, okay? So if you're going down as you approach zero, you're going to be approaching exactly the same value as you did in the other direction, which is four. So your left-handed limit is four, all right? Now, let's take a look at the next example. Um, Double-sided limit. Since these two limits are the same, that basically means that the limit as x approaches 0 is simply 4. Alright, now let's take a look at another area, which is 2 in this case. Now, how about if our, our partition is, or our direction for the limit happens around 2. So let's put our break on 2. Now, if you're approaching 2 from the left side, as this negative um, indicates on, le uh, on letter G, What's happening with the graph? So as I'm approaching from the left side, what's happening with this graph right here? You're going to be on this graph. What is happening as you're approaching from the left side? You notice that the graph is going downwards as you're approaching zero. I mean as you're approaching two from the left, okay? So the graph is sloping downwards. That means your y value is what? It's decreasing. It gets lower and lower and lower until this, it has a limiting value. What value is it approaching as it's going lower and lower? As x approaches 2, it's going to stop right here. And the y value it's approaching is basically 2. Alright, because that's how low it goes until it gets to this, this break right here. So your left handed limit is 2. Now, how about when you're approaching from the right? When you're approaching from the right, this is the right handed limit right here. We're doing a letter H now. You notice that you're going down also, the, graph, the curve is going down. So what does that tell you about your y value? The y value is going to be decreasing until it hits this partition right here. So what value is it decreasing to approach as x approaches 2 from the right? You notice it's approaching this y value right here. It's getting as low as this value and then it sticks into the other function. All right. So your right-handed limit, this is 2 from the right. And then the other one is uh, 2 from the left. So your right-handed limit is basically uh, negative 2. All right? So now since your right-handed and left-handed limits are different, the limit, the bidirectional limit, the limits from both sides are different. That means your, li your limit as x approaches 2, which is left and right together, does not exist. Okay, so thanks for paying attention to this uh, presentation. Um, please subscribe to my videos so you can get future updates and more videos. And then you can click like down here if you like the video. Collection of clips can be found at mycookserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.